red light therapy or low level laser therapy has become increasingly popular in recent years. But does it really work? In this video, I'll describe what red light therapy is, what conditions it's used for specifically in regards to pain and chronic pain, the research supporting it, a general overview of how it works, the differences between clinical units and home units, as well as my own experience with a home red light therapy unit. So let's get started. First of all, what is red light therapy? Well, red light therapy uses photobiomodulation, which is a fancy word meaning the effect of light on living tissues. And there's a lot of research regarding red light therapy. It can be applied either visually through your eyes or to your skin. But in regards to chronic pain, most of the application studied is through the skin. There are clinical laser units that are applied directly to your skin over the painful area, but there are also home units. In general, the clinical units are much more powerful, but also much more expensive. And we'll get into dosing and how often you need to use them in just a moment. But first, what conditions is red light therapy good for? Well, red light therapy, according to research, can be good for a number of different common musculoskeletal conditions, including nonspecific knee pain, arthritis, chronic and acute low back pain, neck pain, temporomandibular or jaw joint disorders. It can be good for tendinopathies, as well as fibromyalgia and diabetic neuropathy. Now, the studies generally are favorable for all of those conditions, but they are mostly short-term studies. I'll post links in the description below to some of the research studies, but I think most people are more concerned with the bottom line, and that is that for many musculoskeletal conditions, red light therapy is good in the short term for pain relief. Now, how does red light therapy work? There are several different mechanisms, most of which are pretty complex, but I'll try to describe them briefly. The most commonly cited way that red light therapy works is by increasing the efficiency of energy production in your mitochondria. The mitochondria are essentially the powerhouses of your body, where your food is turned into energy through the electron transport chain. And red light binds with a specific component of that electron transport chain to make the process work more efficiently. Another way that red light therapy helps with pain relief is that it can activate your opioid receptors. So it's like taking a chemical opioid, but a non-pharmacological way to get that same effect. Yet another way is that red light therapy can increase nitric oxide production. Nitric oxide is a strong vasodilator, so it increases blood flow and circulation, which can help out with tissue healing. Nitric oxide also decreases oxidative stress within your tissues. Another effect of red light therapy is that it increases anti-inflammatory mediators such as interleukin-10, and it decreases inflammatory mediators such as interleukin-1 beta and TNF-alpha. And yet another effect of red light therapy is that it decreases transmission of nociceptive or painful signals in your spinal cord, thus decreasing the transmission from your tissues to your brain. Now, what dosage of red light therapy do you need to be effective to relieve pain? Well, most clinical protocols involve two to three days per week, around 20 minutes per treatment session, and that lasts for usually four to eight weeks, depending on the specific condition. Now, as you can imagine, getting treatment two to three times per week for four to eight weeks can be a significant time burden, especially if you have a significant drive to the clinic. That's the reason why at-home red light therapies have become increasingly popular over the last few years. But do they actually work? You have to look carefully at the specific unit that you're using to make sure that you're getting an effective dose, but an at-home unit can be used 
daily, which makes it easier to use it more often, even if it takes a longer treatment time per session. So now I want to share my experience with an at-home unit called the Prungo Red Light Therapy Unit. The Prungo Red Light Therapy Module is an FDA-cleared medical-grade laser. Now, FDA clearance isn't quite as strict as the FDA approval process required for pharmaceuticals, but it essentially means that it has been shown to be at least as safe and effective as some already marketed comparable device. Now, the way the Prungo Red Light Therapy Module works is you take these three receptors and you put them directly over the painful area. It comes with a charging case that you can charge the modules directly in the case using a USB-C device. Now, before I show you how it works, I want to first share a little story that I have with this. When I first got this, I wanted to try it out with my family. And my wife is a runner. She runs 40 to 50 miles a week. So, of course, she comes up with overuse injuries quite often. She had a chronic hamstring tendinopathy that she'd been dealing with for several months. And I showed her the device and said, you know, there actually is a lot of good research supporting this. And she kind of gave me a look like, whatever. But she put it on, she tried it for 20 minutes. And when she got up, the pain was significantly improved, better than it had been in a number of months. Wasn't completely gone. And then I put it on my daughter who had a sore thigh from running cross country and her pain went away in a single session. That was much more than I expected, so I am pretty impressed with how it worked. So here's a demonstration of how you would actually use the device. You turn the device on by pressing the power switch here. You'll see the light come on, and it starts out on a mild program. This is eight minutes. You can select the mode button to change it to mid, which is 15 minutes, or the highest dosage for more chronic problems, is the strong dosage, which is 20 minutes. You put the strap around the painful area. So we'll select the dosage for all of them and go to strong on here. And then we'll go turn it on, select the mode, and go to strong on here. Then you'd strap it around the painful area. I'll just show it on a knee because it's easy for video demonstration. Plus, arthritis is one of the most common diagnoses that I see that I think people would really be interested in this for. Now, if your pain is on the front of the knee, you would want the therapy unit over the front. You'll have one on each side as well. If your pain is in the back of the knee, you just put the unit on the back and the sides. But we'll show it on the front here. You put the strap around and just Velcro it on. It comes with a couple of different adjustable straps. So if you're dealing with something like a lower back, you can put it on a larger body area as well. So once it's on, you hit the power button to start and you'd hit it on all three devices. And you'll see the red lights come on here. If we turn it up here, you can see this is kind of what it looks like. And there are six red light LEDs on here with a wavelength of 650 nanometers. And then there are four near infrared lights on here with a wavelength of 850 nanometers. Then once it's on, you just leave it there for the dosage time, in this case, 20 minutes. You really shouldn't expect to feel much of anything at all while the unit is on, other than maybe a little bit of warmth. When the treatment time is done, the unit will shut off on its own and you just take it off and put it back in the charging case. So that's how you would use the Prungo Red Light Therapy Module. Now I can't guarantee that this specific device or any red light device would work for your specific condition. But what Prungo does guarantee is that if you're not happy with the results you get, within 30 days they will offer you a full refund. So if it is something that you're interested in trying, that does kind of lower your risk. I'll put a link down below where you can get the device if it is something you're interested in trying. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.